Do you play FC25 on the laptop and are looking for the best FPS performance based settings for your laptop? Well, you've clicked on the right video, so let's jump straight into it. I sadly cannot record on my laptop just due to the fact that OBS and recording itself on my laptop is just going to tank my laptop completely. So I've shown you guys on my computer itself we're going to go to settings game settings and obviously you press the left bumper to get display configurations and here we go i'll put my laptop specs on screen right now so you guys can you guys know how bad or how mediocre my laptop really was it is possible to play on that laptop just to let you know it is possible to play fc25 even if you have a mid to low spec laptop it just depends on your processor and how you actually utilize your laptop what you want to do is the resolution 1280 by 720 this is just due to the fact that there's no question about that this basically just res there's no question about that because your laptop isn't going to be a 1920 by 1080 screen or and it also affects your FPS if you do put it above. If you can go up by 1920 by 1080, I wouldn't recommend playing 1920 by 1080 on the laptop just because your laptop will start working harder and you'll essentially just drop frames. So keep it to 1280 by 720 and you should be good. Make sure display mode is full screen, windowed, borderless and windowed are completely useless because you're on your laptop. Moving on to your refresh rate. My refresh rate sadly was 60 because I couldn't simply hit 60 FPS. I simply couldn't hit the threshold of frames for my laptop. But in game, it was as smooth as can be. I'm not even joking you. And I made sure my frame rate was 30 because I was getting around 25 to 27 FPS. So I just capped my game to 30 and it was so smooth. I tried 60, my game was choppy. Tried 90, 120, my game was just choppy as crap. And then no limb FPS once again, it was just my laptop just kept on processing stuff as chunks and it was not working but blocking my frames to 30 essentially boosted my frames to around 40 to 50 it was much more smoother if you're hitting around 50 to 60 fps make sure you lock it to 60 if you're hitting around 80 to 90 fps make sure you lock it to 90 so on for 120 and then no limit fps if you can aim to around 150 plus the refresh rate it only depends where you can go if you hit 150 fps for example make sure you have your refresh rate at 150 44 hertz that's if your laptop is compatible with those hertz but if not 60 is best as can be moving on to virtual sync make sure it's on this just locks your frame rate boost your fps it's self-explanatory dynamic resolution scale you can have this on if you like it improves your performance as it says on screen i tend to just keep it off but i kept it on in this case for my laptop because it improves my resolution full frame rate it depends on your frame rate here if it is 60 it'll be full frame rate at 60 fps it'll be 30 fps here because it's full frame rate so i just kept it at 30 this actually did have an effect similar to fc24 where the cutscenes were a bit choppy cutscenes on your laptop if you do have a mediocre laptop like myself cutscene quality is in fact very choppy so just a heads up this is just how it goes on laptop moving on to strand based hair i had it off just because i didn't want to have realistic hair shaders no need especially if you're trying to get the most frames out of your laptop moving on to rendering quality low grass quality low crowd quality low cloth quality low ambient quality low motion blur off the reason why i have this all off once again if you are playing on laptop you'll understand that frames are more key than making your game look pretty it applies with pc itself i literally play with these settings on my pc i tried pushing it to medium on my laptop simply it just doesn't budge because the game can't simply render out the best the best frames because you're overloading your laptop when it doesn't need to be overloaded if that makes sense for those who have like high end spec laptops give it a go play on 60 play on medium if, if you really want the game to look pretty it's all about frames when it comes to laptop i'd like to also mention that the gpus in are in the actual desktop computers compared to laptop gpus especially for N nvidia are two completely different things i'd highly recommend you guys check out can you run this if you guys are on a laptop and you guys are trying to figure out if you could actually run the game if you're getting lag spikes if you're getting fps drops on your laptop 
that could probably be your specifications for your laptop itself capping your game on your laptop is 10 times better than capping your game on your computer your gpu and cpu are both completely different and how they process when it comes to a laptop and a pc so what i was saying about the nvidia side of things i have a 3060 ti in my desktop pc if i had a 3060 ti in my laptop it will be compressed to at least 50 percent performance less than the desktop pc is because you can't cramp a 3060 ti that's humongous of a size people who make laptops and pcs they can't compress that same processor into a laptop because the size for it for example the how big that gpu is they have to compress it there's no wrong or right about that, that you just simply cannot put a gpu that big of a size into a laptop so that's where the loss of performance happens and that's where certain people are like oh laptops so crap for gaming yes you are right but you should also think about where and you you guys should research when it comes to laptops about your graphics cards about your G cpus about the ram because it can have an effect when it comes to games in general this isn't just for fc25 this is for every other game that you can play on your laptop moving on to the uh, visual settings what you want to do is make sure you have player style overhead indicators off because it's just an extra fps hog and then the main one i'd like to mention is if you keep scrolling down the hyper motion inside overlays this is a P fps hog so turn this off completely you guys don't need to have this on so yeah that's been the best laptop settings for fc25 comment down below your, if you guys need any help any tips any advice on your laptop how to get the most out of your fps if you guys are still struggling to get the frames that you need for your game and yeah it's been a subscribe if you haven't already take care and peace